Okay guys, this video is going to break down the 360 round kick. So the 360 round kick is thrown with your lead leg and it's a jumping and spinning kick. So what it looks like is you're standing towards the target, you're going to spin, jump and land a round kick. So when you throw this kick, in learning it, you need to first make sure that you can throw a round kick. Just a basic round kick, okay? If you can't throw a round kick, first learn that and then come back to this video. So when we're throwing 360 round kick, we're going to break it down into just the footwork to start off with. So you're going to stand with whatever leg you want to kick with in front. First thing you're going to do is take what's called a back step. So a back step is where you're going to turn behind you and you're going to step forward, your other leg is landing in front. That's the first bit of footwork. Foot in front, back step. Okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in the round kick after the back step. Put in your stance, back step, round kick. That's all it is just now. Back step, round kick. Once you're comfortable with that, we're going to add in a slight jump to move ourselves closer to the full 360 round kick. So what we're doing is we're taking a back step, but this time instead of planting our foot on the ground, we're going to lift this back leg off the ground and bring our knee up nice and high. So I'm going here, and I'm jumping and changing my feet. In your stance, back step, bringing this leg up, jump and change your feet. To get comfortable doing that a bit quicker, And once you're comfortable doing that, we're going to add in the round kick to get the full 360 round kick. Facing the target, going to spin round, be off the ground, and then throw your full kick. And then make sure you're not adding, you don't have any pause when you're throwing the kick. So the two most common mistakes you see when people are first learning how to throw the 360 round kick is helicopter arms, okay? So when they're throwing the kick, they do this. Their arms are super wide, makes sense, they're putting their arms out wide to help keep their balance. But if you want to throw the kick at full speed, you've got to keep everything in nice and tight. So no helicopter arms when we're going round, nice and tight with our arms and you'll get a lot faster than if you try and do it with your arms out wide. The most common mistake you see is people try and throw the round kick too early in their spin. So they'll be spinning round, they'll be here, and they'll try and jump and come all the way around with their round kick. And they'll feel that they're not getting a lot of power in their kick. You have to make sure that your knee is pointing towards the target before you switch into the round kick. So what I mean by this, is as you spin round, I'm making sure my knee is pointing towards the target before I split into my round kick. So rather than trying to throw the kick with my leg up here and having to reach further round, knee facing the target and then I switch into the kick. So that's the 360 round kick guys, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching.